Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back here in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. Right, today I thought, after yesterday's video, doing the brine shrimp hatchery, um, showing you that little video there. That was what I made out of acrylic. The video is on there under brine shrimp hatcher in the uh, in the video selection if you want to pop back and see how I made that one. But um, I, I was just quickly explaining yesterday how easy it is to make a brine shrimp hatcher. Now I've just got a few little bottles here, normal plastic bottles. I've got a new bottle of water there. That's the type I use because it's got a little slim neck there. So all you do is you cut that piece off, cut a section out so you're left with that smaller hole. Invert that in there, take the lid off and that'll let the air go back out. Otherwise if you leave the lid on it's going to be hard to compress that in there because it will compress the air inside. And you push that in nice and tight like that so you end up with that. I've got a bit of air line here, a one way check valve. That's all you need. You take your, your other bottle. I, used to, I like to use one with a nice fluted top like this because of the, uh, the shape and it keeps everything tumbling nicely in there. So then we get our drill, step drill, put that in the middle. You only want a very small hole. So you can drill a small hole like that first, okay? Then you grab your airline, pair of scissors, Get one end of your airline. Just cut that off into a little point. Just like that. Take the lid off your bottle. And then poke that through that hole. You may have to enlarge it slightly. Then grab yourself a pair of pliers. Got a little pair in there little pair of nippy pliers, hold that and then pull it through. Now that has made a completely waterproof seal in there, now that will not leak at all. And once you've done that then, get your scissors right inside to the base, nice and low down like that. And you can even put, retract it slightly if you like because you want it as low as you can get it because the uh, the eggs will settle around the base otherwise in there and you're not going to tumble them so that's that bit done very straightforward obviously then we can cut this pipe anywhere like that there make sure then you've got the right one to go in the right way so it's blowing Oxygen obviously through that way, that on there, that on there, and then that end obviously goes to your little pump, your little air pump. So that's that bit all finished. What we've got to do here as well is thread that through there. So I'll get my little blow lamp a minute just to. There we go. And then we get our airline. Pass that through there. Through the hole. So basically what you've got now is you've got your check valve there sliding up and down on there that cape that pipe goes through there now then that sits back into there which gives you a cradle and then you've got your little lid which is out there like that then you take your bottle screw your bottle onto the top of there then you can pull out the cable then that's ah, sorry the airline pull out the airline and that'll pull that bottle back inside and there you go then you can just stand it up like so that pulled into place and there you have it simple brine shrimp hatcher you can have it as long as you like a nice big flow nice circulation is probably good so if I just go halfway
these things are easy enough to cut through just keep revolving it around and there you go so there you got it a very very simple brine shrimp hatcher that you can hatch your artemia in little brine shrimps you can either bring them up you can feed them to the young you got, I mean I've got some going already in the shrimp room and we're going to put them in here a couple of you guys said um, about feeding them to the uh, to the new the new male better who we're going to call Jack I think it was a unanimous decision I've had so many people say call him Jack after the Union Jack flag I thought seems a very fitting name for him so he is now called Jack he's displaying away over there I'll show you him in a minute he's going to be better right there cut that there push him onto there and then push him onto there like that so now we've got that set up there so once your brine shrimps have hatched and they're all you, you shut that flow off okay shut the flow off there like that turn your pump off take that pipe off of your pump obviously now that's closed so now any of that water now and all those baby artemia any of the casings are going to float to the top the artemia tend to sink to the bottom another good trick is if you get a torch because they're called this photo tactic it's called and that means they react to light so if you shine a torch in the bottom they'll all go to the bottom following the light and then you can put a little pot and you can just literally then open that valve and empty them into the tank take that to your next tank empty them into your tank and so on and um, and then when it's done you can just rinse it out and tip it out and just flush it away so that's how simple it is to make an artemia hatcher you see them online for sale but everyone drinks out of these plastic bottles and it's so easy to um to replicate one of these it's unreal so there you go there's a very quick video today just on how to make one of those and it's got its own stand it'll stand away there nice one teaspoon of salt for 243 ml of water i normally do for brine to make that briny water up for them to hatch in and then keep them inside nice and warm and they'll hatch quicker for you if the temperature's up a bit but there you go it's a very simple way to do it cheap and easy way you can buy the eggs nice and cheap and you've got a nice little supply of of brine shrimp babies to feed to your fish and to your fry which is super healthy for them anyway let's go and see the uh, let's go and see the boy and see what he's doing this morning and there he is hello Jack looking very very happy this morning tanks looking super clear he's had his live bloodworm this morning which he thoroughly enjoyed chasing around the tank around the bottom I do love the way they creep up and stalk their uh, their prey it's lovely to watch I know you want to get into your other tank don't you I know a lot of you guys have been saying about this tank and with it being open and better love to jump and everything it's really cleared up this morning actually but this will have a lid on it don't panic I'm not going to end up with him on the floor in the morning I'm going to make a lid for it okay it's going to be like a half moon lid it's going to come around here and then it's going to come here and I'm going to sort of kind of shape it around the rock work slightly and give it a little bit of a different dimension on the back there so he can't jump out and then when I come in I might do some filming with him in here when we're in here in the workshop I can take it off do some above footage and um, and show you him or the next one when we're doing a bit more filming keeping this all nicely sprayed down with the old atomizer making sure everything's just a little bit moist on the leaves and everything looks really nice and healthy in there still he does look happy in this tank I must admit I can see myself getting more of these
very very sleepy in the koi pond they're all underneath their sheets outside you'd think it'd be warmer in here but they tend to go outside under the sheeting into the garden as you can see through there gonna have to have my spring clean up in here soon the moss is growing well waterfalls running well I do like that poster I just wish it was real <laughs> look at that everyone's sound asleep for the winter still right I think the best thing is now end this little video hope you enjoyed that little um, plastic bottle video on how you can make an easy hatchery for brine shrimp because they're very very simple to make and they work really well anyway from Jack and me thanks again for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for up and coming videos and I'll see you all on the next edition of Mark's Aquatics take care and bye for now Just me and my